Hello, in this video we're going to go through drawing this and we're going to try it a couple of different ways. So I'm going to first shrink it down a little bit. So first way I can do it is with extrude. So I have a cylinder here, a cylinder here, and a cylinder here. So if I F6 to get it isometric, pick a view, and create a sketch. Now I can just draw a circle. Oops, didn't get that center point on it. Bring it back up to the origin. Dimension that, 0.5. Finish, extrude. I'm gonna send it backwards so I can build it going that way. 0.75. Now I can just swing it around, click on this face, create a sketch, circle, it out and I really don't need this one so I'm just going to delete that. Dimension this one 1.5 extrude and that's 0.5 create a sketch there we go circle diameter 1 Finish, extrude, one. So now I have, I have that basic shape here. So I did that by extruding three separate cylinders. I'm going to erase that now. I can do it a different way also. So if I picked on this plane, and I want to just create a sketch. I'm just going to draw kind of half the profile. So I'm going to go over, up, just kind of using my, my constraints as I go. Bring it over. So there I've got this, these two lines constrained. Now this line right here, I'm going to go and I'm going to make it a center line. So let's see, let's try it out first. If I dimension from this line to this line, I get that measurement. If I turn this into a center line though, and now I do that same measurement, I get a diameter across that. So that's what that center line is for. And remember this is probably close to the most complicated sketch I want to have because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines. Remember, eight lines was the maximum amount of lines you want to have as a sketch. So this would probably be the limit of how, how complex I want it to be. Oh, let's not do that one yet. Let's get that overall length. And, and I usually just use D for dimension. And actually, I'm just going to pull these out a little bit more, give myself some more room. Because I do want to have the same type of dimension that I had here. So go there, 0 0.75, 0 0.5, 1. Um, the reason I did that is because th if this was on the drawing, then it means that these are the, the dimensions that are probably the most important. So I wanted to reuse those same ones. And also because later on when I do my drawings, I can pull those same draw those same dimensions that I make here through to my drawing. So I can do that. I can finish, and now I can press result revolve right here. So revolve, and because I have that center line, it's automatically revolving around that center line, and I can say okay. So now I have that just in one sketch and one feature. So the next thing was this little slot here on the back. So I'm just going to pick this back face, create a sketch, spin around a little bit, and I'm just going to draw two vertical lines. And so if I move this line, it moves there, I move this line, it moves, <coughs> it moves there. So if I want this to be centered, what I can do is use the equals, make that line equal to that line. 
So now as I move this one, that one's going to move. Oh, what's happening there? This one isn't vertical, so I can go back in. Vertical, that line. So now as I move them, they're going to move together. So now I can dimension it from there to there. Finish it. Extrude. Click there. And I do want that to cut. And I don't want it to go one. I don't want it to go to next or all. I just want it to go a distance. But I want that distance to be 0.5. And there we go. So there's that part all finished.